Yay! Hey, it's Doris with all the books, and I just filmed and posted my new original reading vlog tag, and so I'd better get busy doing it myself. So here I am with my reading check-in. Um, I am reading When I Was Puerto Rican by Esmeralda Santiago. This is mesmerizing thus far. It's a memoir and I'm reading it with uh, Heidi from My Reading Life and Alba from Suriela who is herself Puerto Rican and her thoughts are amazing. So I am super excited to finish this. I'm loving reading it. Uh, I also have just started last night, Towers Falling by Jewel Parker Rhodes. This is a middle grade to read um, on a fourth grade level. And I didn't think I was going to enjoy it because I thought it would be more contemporary and I don't always love those in middle, middle grades, but it's actually really great thus far. I'm hoping to finish it um, sometime this afternoon. Shouldn't take long. And then um, I need to get back into The Last Chronicles of Barset by Anthony Trollope. I will not be finishing this one this afternoon, but I hope to get at least 100 pages in. So now I need to go organize my day around this tag so I can get it done. I don't know how I'm supposed to get anything done under these circumstances. Sorry, boo. Guess I'll have to keep reading. Okay, for this segment, I think I will get crafty. Look, this is, um, my grandmother made all of these afghans. Somebody was asking. But anyway, I can crochet too. So yeah, I think I'm going to make a little cat bed for Pico. I'm thinking maybe like neutrals, if that's not too boring. Oh, I can add a pop-up. That looks cool. We'll do those three. Aww. Look, this is um, Biddy Boo's little harness that I made when she was a kitten. I used to walk her on this out in public. She was so cute. Makes you want to have another kitten, doesn't it? Oh well, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to crochet. We found a winner. This is getting rather precarious. Oh my goodness, I can feel a problem, an accident waiting to happen with my bookish Jenga. Oh, I did it. Once again, Pico! Pico de Gallo! Pico! Pico de Gallo! Pico! Pico de Gallo! Yes, we gotta go in the house, guy. I almost gotta go run errands. Yeah, actually, I gotta go to the gym. You might need to go to the gym too, guy. You got a little bit of a belly roll, jelly roll down there, right there. It's a little bit squishy. Hello, beautiful. Look at that. Have a delightful sweaty sheen just from walking in the yard for five minutes finding my pico anyway i'm going to start a new audiobook the magician's assistant by ann patchett um this is off the the i forget what i'm calling it now jenga mountain tower of shame i don't know Anyway, yeah, hopefully it's a good one. I haven't had an audiobook on the go 
for a couple days now and I needed to get back to it because I'm not going to finish 30 books in 30 days. If I don't have some audiobooks. I also have my Powell's City of Books book bag filled with yarn. So just in case, just in case I get a crochet moment while I'm off running errands, I have my grocery list that we never got to the grocery the other day when we said we were gonna. So there's no food. Like, I mean, there's food, but you know what I'm saying? There's not much. So I need to remedy that situation. But first, I must go work out. And my kid is volunteering at camp this week. So I have to pick him up at 340. So I don't know if the grocery shopping is gonna happen before or after that, but. We're off on adventures now. Let's go. I did a mile in 13 and a half. Okay, that was a workout. I am hot. I have both vents going on me. But um, I just wanted to say, since my celiac diagnosis back in November and going off the gluten, I have so much more energy. It's just bizarre. Like. I didn't even know I was sick. I keep saying that, but I just thought, well, I'm getting older, I'm getting lazier. No, <laughs> there was something wrong with me. Yeah, I, I couldn't do any of this. Like, I didn't know I couldn't. I just thought I didn't feel like it, but yeah. I don't know what I'm saying except for, it feels really good to be able to work out again. It feels pretty good, I mean, a lot of work, but we only have half an hour. Wait, I quit doing that, Doris. I only have half an hour until I have to go pick up Gabriel. So we're gonna see what kind of necessities we can grab in this time frame. I'm in that game, counterproductive, but I earned it. 122 dollars and saved 18.91 with 10 minutes to spare. Go me. Okay, I gotta do a really quick check-in because this book is so good. I, I don't know how much I've read, listened to, um, you know, maybe 30, 25 pages, but I like, I had no idea what it was about. I just didn't pay attention. I was like, oh, it's an Impatchet novel, but it's, um, I don't even know what year it's set, but it took me a few minutes to figure out, but it's, um, Sabine, Parsifal, and Fan, and Sabine and um, Parsifal met when Sabine was 19 and Parsifal was 24, and he was a magician performing at, I guess, a nightclub, um, and Sabine was a, a waitress there, and she said she fell in love with him immediately and she became his assistant his magician he was a magician a magician's assistant and she didn't realize at the time but um Parsifal was interested in guys so Fan then became his life partner this is all in the first few pages um and so this is told in retrospect I guess um Fan died from AIDS a few years prior and uh, Sabine and Parsifal <clears throat> have finally married because um, Parsifal wanted Sabine to be his widow and she's like 40 now and he just died. He had AIDS. They were expecting him to die eventually um, but it hadn't progressed much yet but he died of an aneurysm suddenly and so yeah, it's just really pulled me in immediately, the storyline. I remember Chris of Chris Chris's Bookish Cauldron really loving it. Um, so I know I want, knew I wanted to read it, but yeah, I'm just really intrigued because it's beautiful, this opening, but I, I have no clue like what the story is going to be because it seems like everything has happened already. Um, but I wanted to check in like right now because she just got a call from the lawyer and he's being real pushy about she needs to come meet with him right now. So I think I'm gonna find out what the story is gonna be about and I didn't want to like spoil any of that. So I wanted to 
just tell you about the opening before I really got into it. So yeah, okay, gotta run get the kid. That's a pretty one. It's a swallowtail, but I don't think it's a tiger swallowtail. I'm gonna have to look it up. I don't remember. All right, let's see how we're doing. Scenic route. Currently reading. Gratuitous pets. Hobby, sort of. Car, definitely. Errands, yep. Workout, nature shot, ooh, booktube talk and bookshelf interlude. Okay. Technically, we've done the foodie clip too. Well, we'll check it off when we get there. They're everywhere today. That's a tiger. Pretty one. They're all beautiful. My guy. You gonna help me photograph butterflies? What are you doing? You need to fix that wall for me. I don't know what's going on over there. You getting your groove on, guy? <laughs> Let's look at that belly. Oop. Where are you going? You camera shy, dude. Is that the black bee? Oh, it's got pollen buckets, so it's got to be a bee, right? I'm so curious now. They're my favorite. They're like little flying teddy bears. How cute is that? Little bee, little bee. They're so fuzzy. My goodness. Hey, beautiful. I thought I'd give you a little peek at what I've been watching on booktube today. So I just finished Sean's Women in Translation recommendations. Um, that is in August. I'm glad he pointed that out because I missed it last year. Um, Vicki from Chapter 32 is vlogging um, Pillars of the Earth that she's reading. And that was just a really delightful vlog. I enjoyed it so much. Um, there's me. Why am I popping up so much? Oh, I was checking vlog prompts. That's why. Um, when I was creating my tag. <laughs> um, this is my history, by the way. This one is the one I was talking about in my tag video. Mel's, she did Sean's tag A is for author, but she did it vlog style. It is so, so delightful. Um, and then this one from Boston, how she got her TBR to zero. Um, I mean, you would think, duh, just unhaul the books. But she really had some, excuse us. She really had some intelligent ideas that I appreciated. Um, and then Chris, so excited to see him pop up in my feed. Um... He's not around as much anymore, but I enjoy listening to him today. Uh, I listen to V. She is a newbie I have found. Oh my gosh. I hate this laptop. That's why I don't use it. And um, Kendra's got me turned on to the old drift. I think I might need to get that one. And... Of course, The Poptimist, and this book I just got to, so I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, that's what I've watched today. Britta was yesterday, so yeah. Okay, another check-in of the to-do list. I just filmed booktube, chatter. I'm going to count the Jenga in the window this morning for that one because I've already got 12 minutes of vlog footage, and, you know... The day's not over, so I can cut corners now. Accomplishment. I mean, I filmed an original tag video. That was something, right? Whether I can check this off, because I did catch raindrops this morning on the zinnias. I'm going to go ahead and count the grocery run with my chips and soda for foodie clip. Um, I've te technically done a reading check-in already, too. I probably will have one more, but, you know. 
So yeah, I, I'm good. I can just let the day unfold now. Yep. The laundry sitting on the kitchen table was not a hypothetical thing, okay? So I can at least get this done today. Do you think you're helping, boo? You leaving your hairy deposits on Gabriel's t-shirts? Talking to you, cat. The magic finger snap doesn't really work when cats are involved. Hey, it's a couple days later. Um, and I forgot to film my wrap up. So here I am. I did finish Towers Falling by Jill Parker Rose and I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, and I also think it's a really good book for middle grades, upper elementary students to learn about 9-11. This book is set 15 years after the fact and it touches on not only the towers falling, but um, homelessness and um, was it PTSD? Yes, post-traumatic stress disorder related to 9-11 um, and um, prejudice against Muslim students after 9-11. So really a lot packed into a little book. Uh, and now I, look at this, the joy of making a tag and then doing the tag yourself is I get to tag more people. Yeah, and I'm gonna tag. I feel like I've set out a box trap for, you know, a cat and I'm gonna kept capture all you cool cats in it. So I am tagging all of the people who um, have active channels that commented on my original tag. So, I'm sorry, Alan Wharton. <laughs> Come on down. It's your time on The Price is Right. It's been a long time since I've seen that show. Um, anyway, Alan, I'm gonna let you off for good behavior. You don't have to film an entire vlog video, but you, you do need to add a couple extra clips, any of the prompts you choose, onto one of your upcoming videos. If, if you want to, I mean, tags are purely optional. Um, I'm also tagging Bookish North, Rainy Day Reads, Jenny King, and I will link all of these people below. There's some new ones to me, so, um, we might want to visit and get to know each other. Uh, Amy Anders, Charles Heathcote, Lindsay Reeds, The Scrappy Apple Yard, Erin Go Reeds, um, MH Books. Having trouble reading my writing. I don't see very well. <laughs> Jay Shay and six minutes for me. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back soon, like tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye. It is, I'm just gonna try it is, um, oh shit, let me try this. Whose author, the author starts with Alien. Oh shit.